Okay, so where we last left off in the Wolf Among Us Let's Play, there was a mysterious knocking on the door, yeah, door after Colin and I did an awesome cake stand. Well, let's get to it. Okay. Wow. Well, I was wondering if there's options you could do on the way of the door just to be a dick. But, you know, I don't really want to be a dick. I want to be a cool guy. Cool guy, Big B. Cool guy, Big B Wolf. Big B! Big B! Snow! snow. Okay, Come there's- with me. I was like, is that snow? I hope so. I hope that's my girlfriend. Close your door. Snow. That's how Colin gets in there. Don't be surprised when Colin's in there when snow. you leave your door what? open. Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just Aww. can't get into he it this so second. Concerned. We need to hurry to... <gasps> Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or... I kind of want to, I like, I want to guess who people are, but I just yeah. would not be good at it. Because I have no guesses. These walls are paper thin. We Anyone need to be, be careful. Listening. We'll talk outside. Snow's awfully suspicious for someone with nothing to hide. Oh, achievement. Was was there a thing out there? Or, oh yeah. Um, that's probably okay. Too bad the security guard won't do his job and be awake and know what happened here and where this came from. Hey. Are you gonna explain? Is this why you brought me out here? Or is this a coincidence? Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You knew this girl? That was my new friend! Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone oh. in Fable Town. Was she, she a prostitute? I... It was exactly like Heavy Rain then. Just a girl. I, I mean, we didn't we, have a whole lot of time to chat. I don't know. I didn't actually think she was a prostitute. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he. I don't think anything yet. Just. Don't talk that way about my best friend, the woodsman. It's just. I think so, it's obvious she found, found her, else? so... No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. I want, so, okay. did he say that she definitely isn't a Mundy? I guess because she knew about did one of Fable us people, so... Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic so, before we know what's going is on. Is she a Fable or not? Because, I mean... That guy survived a axe in the head, but I guess have a look maybe around. fables can't survive a beheading. Before people will be coming through here. Oh, investigation start. Oh, I'm so upset. Uh. What is? You. Oh, that was not a good sound. Ew. It's <coughs> her ribbon. Oh no. There's oh. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. That's so gross. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. <coughs> she was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. That was nice of them. What kind of monster? Consider it this? monsters. God, what did this to her? What could do something like that? <laughs> something very sharp, or something with magic. I usually to it. am fine with gore, but there was one part in The Walking Dead. I think it was like episode two. I don't want to give spoilers. Oh, it was season one, definitely episode two. I think where oh, I was like gagging, and I've never 
I never gang over like video game gore, but I cannot handle this one thing <sighs> that happened. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> but um, what what do you want to do next? Should probably investigate. We still have more. some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Blood trail. I'm gonna touch the blood tail. Blood. Drops of blood. Touch it. Yeah. It seems Rub it been around. Here. An hour maybe? Bigby's fucking weird. You're a super freak, Bigby. Trash can. <gasps> Pick up. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Our perp is probably wearing jeans. Just some loose trash. I'm gonna touch this blood too. Blood. I'm gonna touch all the blood. Big B, you didn't touch it. Sharp enough. Big B. Big B. These prompts are false advertising. <laughs> I'm assuming there's nothing over here since the trail kind of came from the other way. Right? But I mean, it doesn't hurt to. Oh. Nope. Big B. Excuse me. Bushes. Admire those bushes. Those are some nice ass Nobody bushes. There. So that looks like everything. Should I go inside or I'll talk to her. Oh, comparing fabric. That's. Um. What are you doing? Baby, excuse Better me. Be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. <laughs> Does this match your jean skirt? We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. <laughs> oh. I get complaints at the office all the hey, time, but don't undermine just my super what cool about thing this I said. makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Big B makes my well, claim sound so much cooler yes. than I could ever do. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Thanks, Snow. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Yeah, you tell Crane, whoever Crane as is. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Yeah, as long as King and Cole's gone, going to King find Kong. out anyway. King so Cole is. We may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Uh, I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag trying it Trying to be agreeing That's here. how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully <coughs> he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I hope Dr. Swinehart is just Colin Glass name. And he's a really super official pig most of the time. Official pig doctor. So did he just wander here from the farm just as a pig? Because he was obviously a pig when I saw him. So I guess his glamour was like missing or whatever. 
Oh, look at these. What, are you blind? Oh. Why, you don't see there's a line? I don't. I've been standing here a half hour already. You who get are you? To just walk in? Please tell me who you are. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Thank you. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. No, don't say that about people. He's probably being genuine. You can't really, you know, sarcasm Fucker. doesn't carry over the internet. Wow. I you. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, uh, of course I don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't <laughs> change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Except for the Instead murderers, of trying to I assign guess. blame, yeah. maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, yeah. is that how you see things? That is how I Sheriff, see things. you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life. God, the Big V, why can't you community. be everywhere at all Tell times me you've forever? Been doing something. Are there any leads? Oh. Suspects? Anything? I wouldn't have Anything guessed that. Any As shred being, of evidence, you, know. you two know what the hell you're doing. Could be right Bluebeard, now, just because, you know. To fire the both of you. Just. Yeah, her pimp. Her, so she. Was she, uh. Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Wow. Well, I did not even just realize that. Wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. That's probably the best type of fable, you, you know, for being honest. On this situation quickly and I quietly. wish Baby was a hooker. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer among us. This would be a very no. different game, probably. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. Ugh. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. I want King Cole to come back. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Oh. You know what? Oh. Stop. Oh. Oh. We'll get on it right away. Ah. Oh. I was so excited. Ah. Oh. I almost had would have just one. pissed him off more. All right. Yeah, but I wanted to see it. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and- Yeah, well, I don't like Crane. Huh. Never mind. <laughs> Smoke away. So I could talk about this stuff that's interesting, or I could just state the obvious. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. I <laughs> feel that. Oh. Is... is he gone? Oh. Yes, thank you. I thought it was going to be like a parrot. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. Oh, is that the wine? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. This Drinking flying monkey knows this what early? everything's about. Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Nah. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what you How think, are you today, guy? Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Uh oh. Buffkin, get the books. The sweet Which little books? creature. The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Oh. Hi, this is Snow White. Is Hello, Ram. Assistant? Please tell me Hi. Yes, who the I'm killer is. To let you know I'm gonna go talk to the mirror. Do you think her movements, hey, magic mirror. you know, an important part of her identity? 
Ribbon Girl? You know the the fable about Ribbon Girl? You know uh, the one. Time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. Oh, it's so cute. See? You had a rhyme. Was that oh, it's so, so cute. Hard. Yeah, be so I'm cute. about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Ribbon Girl. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me the woodsman. Best friend woodsman. Second only to best friend Colin. What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I didn't rhyme. Show me Snow White. <laughs> He's like waves. Request. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, work so hard. Cave get crunk. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. I'll go help doing the studying. Ooh. Tarot deck use. Never mind. I ain't studying. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. That's a beautiful picture of him in Snow White. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Can you guys believe that Fight Club is 15 years old this year? Well, the movie. Hmm. The movie of Fight Club. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Whoa. Um, okay. Let's drop in a heavy idea with not much of a context. You're getting warmer, but that's me. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Caught me looking at her picture in the book. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. That's my best friend. And him. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. There's beauty. beauty. Days. <laughs> That's so sad. And her man, Beast. Oh, oh Colin. The BFF. Colin and his brothers. They don't need names. Is that King Cole? I've seen this before. Oh, <gasps> it was on the ring. The symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Oh, I just got home from my first day at school. All this studying. I didn't play video games to study. Oh, that was easy. Uh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. <laughs> I can help. Wolves don't know how to read. It yeah, makes sense. Thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffka's so sweet. One. He's my third Where best friend. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? 
Donkey Skin Girl, also known as Donkey Skin, also known as <laughs> Ass Skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buff can I would have never guessed that in the entirety of the world. I don't remember the that fable. Of I don't remember being told about there Ass Skin as a child. There was once a with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, uh, his daughter. His daughter. Oh, called Faith. it. Oh, it's horrible. That's my reaction. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Is that real? Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You this think he's heavy? It? With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. <laughs> uh, she's not the best law enforcer, is she? I mean, pretty sure it's always like most of the time it's usually someone. They knew, right? Oh, maybe I can find where the rest of the body is. They're looking in the mirror. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, 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 blah about this fable. fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> Glad he takes that. Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these uh. lips are sealed. What? Same. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. <sighs> okay, um, Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Hmm. What's he been doing? Oh, cool where shoes. Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Just sitting with a bloody dagger next to him. No big deal. Show me. Don't react to that, Digby. Father, the old king. Oh. Guess that crosses him off the suspect <laughs> list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Are we allowed to Sorry. answer the phone? I have to get that. Oh. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Big. It's for me. It's for you. Is it calling? It's me, Tom. Oh. You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Toad, be safe. Toad. Boy, shit. Don't, Toad, don't. Hi. No. <gasps> what was that about? We have to go save Hard Toad. To say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble, and we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Was a Toad bloody dagger an indication of that? Dude. Whenever you're ready. Toad is about to die? What is wrong with you? We haven't saved Toad. He's like a second call in to me. Oh, I'm so polite. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. 
Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, you didn't see him. Wait, he is. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Toad. No question about it. Big, big shit. Listen, right? Look how worried he is. Going through all the woodsman things. You think he did it? Okay. What's he... her husband's name? Lawrence. If he's Prince dead, Lawrence. he's dead. You know, but Toad isn't dead. I can still save Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. Yes. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Ooh, this time frame in this game? That sounds and stressful. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Oh, it looks so bad. Still. <laughs> See, dude, is, you totally owe Toad. Hey! Wait here. Toad better not be fucking dead. Shit. Well, I don't see a dead toad body, so that's a good indication. Right? That... I'm so worried. I'm so worried about toad. I'm sorry! That's enough, alright? Just shut it! Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Toad, I was worried about you. I was worried about you, and here you are, yelling at your kids, apparently. Toad, I swear to God. Is that his son? I feel like I should look as if upstairs, but I'm just really concerned about the sobbing, you know? Be nice in there, okay? No. I'm the big bad wolf. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Toad, I swear to God, I'm never trusting you again. Sorry, I'm Big worried. B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought I'm it was worried. someone else in Woods. And place. here you are, yelling at was it, though? Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Toad, do you see this so, look I'm giving you, know, you right now? False alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stings, you know, but it's nothing to kick Toad, up a you fuss about. Shit. A little tub swim, he'll be right you. as rain, I'm sure. You're, I regret ever calling you a second Colin. You're dead to me. Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off no. now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Fucking toad. <sighs> Grown-ups. Am I right? Hey, your dad's a bit of a shithole. I don't uh... know if you noticed. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Oh, he's so tiny. Look at it him. It has a weevil. What a oh. tiny little cutie. Oh, little angel child. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. So, I'm pretty sure his door frame is blown out like someone, you know. Oh, yep, that's a latch. The lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. 
for Christ's sake, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. I think he's full of shit. He, look at him! He's so full of shit and he knows it. This is so. Okay, this is so Let's suspicious. It's almost ridiculous. Fucking hell. Damn thing must he was just like, oh, it just, uh -huh. you know, broken. The lamp, the lamp fell, just fell off. The off. The Nothing. You Don't know, worry. Like, with this place, it's, it's fine. Like, even on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. <sighs> You and me both, Bigby. You and me both. Talk to Snow. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? No hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. It's probably because mm. dad's prick. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I'm never going to trust again in this game, except for beautiful Colin. Beautiful angel child Colin. Oh, that looks suspicious. Touch it, Bigby. Touch it. Touch the blood. You bleeding? He did it once, well, and I'm really blood. still fresh. And I'm really disappointed that he oh, won't touch well, it after I'll that. Cut me and <laughs> ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnish. It just seems so strange. Like, oh, here's pieces, blood. Let me just rub my wall. fingers in it's it. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Police work. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Yeah, I just ran around and got this huge just splotch of blood on the wall. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I- There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. I just tripped and shoved my fingers just underneath the window Just last night, when I'd pane. come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. But your latch really? was broken. Scared Junior after oh. death. Hmm. Oh, policed. Detective? I don't know. That's probably a better verb. You were uh, the, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Yeah? Yeah, fucking love him. If you're gonna say something, out with it. But you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Ha! Why'd you climb in through <laughs> the window? Huh? Detective. Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Look how smug he is. Like you know, he knows. What are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Oh, I thought that'd be enough. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my ace attorney breakdown. Any moment, now. Okay, I guess I'll talk to him. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. Get tough. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. <sighs> Is there anything else? Anything else at all? Oh, dust ring. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp. Detected. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. Now what? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? 
Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Could do a better job dusting. <laughs> yeah. So Get a dust happened? of all this blood. What touch happened? it, Bigby. Touch it. There's fresh blood on the tip. Touch it all over. Smell it from the door. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit. Guy's apparently thing. just the clumsiest person Bloody in the world. Hell, Big B, what sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? You cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, me. Worry about your kid. It's not up to your standards. Oh no. Oh, I should have said hand. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? <laughs> There's nothing to solve here, Practicing Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Big B touch it. Why don't you help. believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. I'll never believe we'll you again, Toad. I came over, I was worried about you. And you're just here, having a Big dandy old time. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, I feel what bad, because he want? seems really stressed. Oh. I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? <gasps> Mr. Toad, Toad, you're bleeding. I try not to worry about you, but here I am worrying. Take off the hat. Are you okay, Mr. Toad? You have a son to take care of. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. This was it a quite the, the it's trying to break down Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned the something Tweedle. about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but he said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Oh. I even tried to give a dicks. bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who <laughs> live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. I keep things in my attic too. Especially flammable things like... Oh. No, That's not what I expected when I heard coat. I mean, it makes sense. Because of the whole donkey thing. But what? it's a little... 
it's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. If my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? It's probably, it's Don't like make it a dilemma. illegal, right, to open up other... I gotta uphold the law. Just open it! I'm a detective. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. I'm sorry, Toad. I mean, it was very you're still nice a dick. To you, TJ. But Thanks. not maybe not as dick, uh, as big as a dick ya. as I thought you were. Not 100% dick, as they say in the Guardians of the Galaxies. Well, we just made deal holes of ourselves. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the princes now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Kingly apartments. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go in guns a-blazing. Humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fable Town business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Hell yeah, game. You see my face? I'm gorgeous. Okay, so that seems like a good place to take a break from the Let's Play for the time being. So when we come back, we'll see how Prince Lawrence is doing, and if, you know, he's doing okay with a blade knife to him, like next to him, or if he's just completely dead with a blade knife next to him. Okay, bye!